I'm Benjamin Brody, safety manager at ASC, and I'm standing here in front of our tool cage where we have our lifting clamps. Now, lifting clamps are an important tool for doing lifting of plate. When you can't weld a lifting eye to something, you may want to use a clamp as the best tool for that lift. But when selecting a clamp, there's a few things you need to think about. We have a helpful work aid which outlines what clamps we have and what things to consider when selecting a clamp. You should also check the clamp's data plate. The first thing you want to look for when selecting a clamp is the orientation of your lift. Are you lifting a plate vertically or horizontally? Depending on the orientation, you're going to pick a clamp that's rated for that lift. The next thing you want to check is the clamp's maximum, but also its minimum load capacity. And that makes a clamp a little bit different from a sling or a shackle, which only has a maximum capacity. Clamps have minimum load capacities, which means if you underload them or put something that doesn't weigh enough into a clamp, you could actually lose your load. Finally, you want to check the clamp's rated plate thickness. That's also going to have a maximum and a minimum plate thickness, so don't put something that's too thick in a clamp or something that's too thin. And again, when checking what a clamp is rated for, refer to the data plate on the clamp, and you can also check the work aid that we have posted on the tool cage. And that's it on clamps. If you have any questions, contact the safety department. Talk to you later.